Well, Anne's taken off on a little trip. She's gone to photograph some grizzlies at a grizzly bear sanctuary up on the BC coast. So it's just Angie and I here. So I'm going to busy myself with some uh, repairs to the RV since we've stopped at our summer uh, location here where we spend a few months. I've, de I've decided to to get uh, some nagging repairs done. I've gone through and uh, inspected all the RV and found a, a few little things that need to be fixed up. First up is a, uh, a leak, a little leak in my slide. Let me show you that. So here's where the problem I spotted is. If you look really close, you can see a small crack has developed just in that corner seam there. When I go underneath, it feels like the wood is a bit spongy, so I believe water's gotten into there. Damn. Anyway, I'm going to pull that uh, strip off, have a look. Okay, so I took that strip off. I'm able to kind of pull the wall back a bit. And I looked up into the wall, and uh, none of the, the... It doesn't look like there's any water coming from above. I was a little worried that maybe uh, I had a leak in the window there somewhere and it was coming down the wall but uh, all the insulation looks dry no signs of uh, water and also peaked inside further in and I didn't see any signs so that has to be where the water's getting in just where that little uh, seal had opened up a little bit of silicone had pulled back and I guess you know this thing being the slide all the water pours off this slide and dribbles down in a hard rain so it would just get constant water. Wish I had noticed that before. So I think what I'm going to do is try to drive some screws. It looks like they, they screw this board into a, along back here there's a, an aluminum, aluminum uh, rail. So they screw it up into there and then they sink the, the screw into the board a bit so the slide goes in. Okay, so I'm going to drive a, a bunch of screws in there. I'll probably drill some holes first and then try to see if I can get that to suck back up and then I can put put the, the rail, the outside cover back on. Okay. Okay, so I got some metal text screws, drill point screws, one and a quarter inch there, and was able to uh, suck that back in. It was just a small part that had started to uh, get a little dry there, so hopefully that'll keep it solid. And they're sucked up enough that they shouldn't shouldn't drag on anything when the slide goes in. So now I got to get rid of this gut. This crap, this silicone is so hard to get. I got to scrape all that off. Okay, finally got all that old cock off. Took a while, lots of scraping used a plastic tool, my thumbnail, that actually works pretty good. Um, kind of a Brillo pad thing. And this Goo Gone cock remover. So now that I've got it nicely cleaned up, I'm going to put that old uh, cover back on. And I picked up this stuff called Sikaflex. Heard some pretty good stuff about it. It's at a boating and marine store. I also sell RV parts. So Sikaflex 291 is supposed to be a really good high-end marine grade uh, caulk, so we'll give that a try. Okay, so I ran a bead right along the top and a little bit on each holes. Now I'm going to put the flange on and dip the screws in it as well. Okay, there we go. All sealed back up again. 
that should do well. Hopefully there wasn't too much damage there. Feels pretty good though. And it's solid. So I think I caught it just in time. That's why it pays to and, uh, inspect all the seams once in a while. You never know. It just takes a tiny little uh, opening to cause a major problem. So when I put the caulk on I ran a bead across there and then this little tool I got um, has a little uh, kind of a rubbery thing with corners on it so I was able to just push it along there and make a nice little uh, caulking bead. Not the greatest job. It's not like I do it every day. Actually I never do it so <laughs> not bad for a first attempt. Anyway off to do the next uh, chore. I got another repair on this rig to do. So there we go. Job number one's over. Past Angie's inspection. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be tackling my next repair is in my storage compartment here. So along this little rail here, I like to keep things I, I want to get to really quick. I always keep my toolbox in here, but that's caused a bit of damage to the RV. Let me just pull that toolbox out there and show you. You can see in here where the board is pulled away. Originally there was staples. They failed and I ended up putting screws in there and then they failed. I think it's because they do a lot of uh, traveling over washboard and stuff. So uh, what I want to do is beef up that uh, that board mount there a bit so it can handle it because I do like to have my toolbox in there. I guess the easiest thing would be not to carry your heavy toolbox in that area but I like it so next video I'm going to be beefing that up. Stay tuned. Cheers.